Hello and welcome to The Tippy Show. So today I have a very interesting video. Uh, I had someone in my comments challenge me to survive as Poland against both Germany and the USSR. I thought this was very interesting. This is something that I've attempted when uh, No Step Back first came out and I couldn't do it. Uh, I tried two or three times and Germans just each time pushed right through me, uh, pushed right through my lines. Uh, so I'm going to try it again. Uh, for starters, there are a few things I need to uh, mention. So for one, I'm going to be putting down some ground rules. First of all, I have to do historical Poland. It's possible doing this uh, as any of the monarchist paths. Those are very, very powerful. But historical Poland is a lot harder. I cannot do any aggressive wars except for one exception. Occasionally, uh, the USSR won't declare war on you. I don't know why this is. It's just sometimes they don't. If that happens in this game, then I will be justifying a war goal on Tanatuva or on uh, Mongolia by late 1940, uh, just so that I can actually fight the Soviets too. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, but if it does, there you go. Also, for some reason, my game audio didn't record. I'm not entirely sure what I did wrong. Um, this is like the third time that halfway through my recording, the game audio just cuts out, so this is something I really need to fix. Okay, we will be choosing single player new game January 1st 1936 of course and we will be choosing Poland this is going to be an Iron Man mode game as well as historical first thing I'm going to be doing is setting a national focus and we're going to complete the April Constitution this is just going to change the April Constitution national spirit that we have just by a little bit it's going to give us a little bit of uh, political power and it's going to start up the uh, right and left sanitation opposition and bring it on to moderate don't worry we'll be able to uh, lower those I do suggest that you get armored trains. Uh, the reason for that is because if you take the decision to seize civilian trains, if you have armored trains already researched, for some reason, it gives you armored trains instead. Awesome, right? I'm just gonna start building uh, military factories to begin with. I'm going to delete that plane production line because I really don't need it. Instead, I'm gonna be doing towed artillery with some uh, anti-air artillery as well and putting the rest of my factories on guns because we're gonna need a lot of those. We have 40 divisions. I'm just gonna switch all of those to that infantry division. It is an 18th width with a uh, recon. I'm gonna be making a spy agency. I'm going to be getting a seducer because they're less likely to be caught and I'm putting them on Hungary. Now let's do Polish militarism. This is gonna add the Polish militarism national spirit, which gives us a little bit of uh, recruitable population, some more support, not too bad. It also modifies the April constitution once again. I'm going to move on to partial mobilization so I can get access to more civilian factories. I'm going to start training a ton of units, as many as I can. Nice, so we've consolidated the sanitation government. I'm going to do the castle. This is gonna uh, modify that sanitation left and right opposition uh, national spirits by lowering it a level to low sanitation left opposition. I just really don't wanna worry about a, a civil war for my left and right branches of government while I'm uh, dealing with that peasant strike. Okay, I'm going to take a pause on my left and right opposition and I'm going to deal with Danzing. I'm gonna get this army defense guy because I need that army experience gain. I have seized Danzing. There's really only two uh, of these options that you need to do. It's going to be unification propaganda. It's gonna give you 0.70 compliance gain for like 60 days. And then we're going to be raiding uh, German party resistance because this gives us a flat bonus of 15 compliance and negative 15 resistance. Now I'm gonna do the four year plan and move on to uh, agrarian reform. I'm also going to be making a cipher on Germany. Okay, let's fill these railway gaps. I'm going to be putting one more spy on Hungary to boost uh, my ideology. Okay, I'm gonna explain what I'm doing real quick. So the Hungarian focus tree is very, very interesting. Uh, their historical branch is economic intervention, strengthen the Brown Party, and then rena renounce the uh, Treaty of Trianon. In order to renounce the Treaty of Trianon, they need to have more than 40% support for the Brown Party. If they don't get 40%, then they can't complete this focus. When they do strengthen the uh, Brown Party, they get a base boost of 5%, and they get a ticking daily boost of 0 0.03 for 720 days. So, if I can just make the, uh... Hungarians not be able to complete this focus, they'll never be able to join the Axis, meaning they're just gonna sit there and do nothing. This will give us a few tiles that we don't have to defend, and it's going to be someone that we can uh, ask for resources from throughout the game. I'm going to be getting this elusive gentleman because I want another spy. Okay, I got a German spy, which I will be putting on Germany. Okay, so now I meet the requirements to ban the German party inside Danzig, so let's do that. 
No, I will not be signing this Germany. The reason for that is I don't want the Soviets to hate me until they go to war with me. Uh, I'm going to be doing something kind of sneaky. Okay, and now we're going to be doing agrarian reform. And once this focus is done, it'll remove that peasant strike. I'm going to commandeer some more trains. I'm going to boost my uh, stability. I also decided to uh, go as far as I can with the passive defense, just because I don't really want the uh, Soviets or Germans to be putting spies in my country, and as much entrenchment and battle planning as I possibly can. Ooh, I am missing a lot of guns. That's fine, I'll deal with it later. Okay, agrarian reform is done, now we don't have to worry about those peasants uh, rebelling against us. We're going to integrate Gandask Industries, this is going to switch us from uh, embargoed economy to export focus. Seems like our spy got killed in Hungary, so I'm going to be getting another one and, once again, boosting my ideology. Now that we have some factories on guns, I'm going to start putting some factories on support equipment because I need as many engineers as possible. Okay, we have integrated Gandask Industries. I'm going to do this National Defense Fund. This is going to give us a consumer goods factories of negative 15% for 720 days. I'm also going to move on to limited exports because I need as much resources as I can get. Amelia Earhart has circumnavigated the globe. I feel like this is a very, very good omen. Okay, so we are now at high uh, opposition for both the left and right. Might be a good idea to uh, lower that real quick. So I'm going to support the chemical industries. I'm also going to get this war industrialist. He's a lot cheaper right now, uh, and he's going to make us build military factories a little bit faster. Also, I will be getting static warfare. It's going to give us entrenchment speed of 10% and max entrenchment of 10%. I'm going to be getting tenacious defense and professional army corps. This is going to make land doctrines a little bit cheaper. It's going to give us daily command power gain, which that one is important, and it's going to give army experience gain of 5%. But really, it's for that daily command power gain. That's going to be really handy. And I'm going to do sanitation left. This is going to make the left sanitation uh, happier and it's going to make the right angry. Uh, it's going to also allow us to eventually get some uh, pretty good advisors. Force deploy. Okay, sanitation left is done. We are on moderate and very high uh, right opposition. So I'm going to sideline the right. And I'm going to continue on the sanitation left just because there are more focuses that I'm going to be doing on the left. I like this legion of merit. Uh, it's going to give us a military leader cost of negative 10%, experience soldier losses of negative 25%. That's honestly what I'm uh, focusing on. We have decrypted uh, the German cipher, and I'm going to do the sanitation right. This is going to make the right happy and make the left a little bit mad. Uh, and this is going to give us a few advisors. It also gives us a very good theorist who we can use uh, instead of all of the normal ones, I guess. Okay, so now we have 10 factories on guns, 5 factories on support equipment. I'm going to be putting 5 factories on anti-air, and you guessed it, 5 on tow artillery once I get the chance. I'm also going to be making a special shock trooper division. If you've watched any of my other videos, uh, you can probably guess what this division is going to be. It's going to have one support artillery, one anti-air, and it's going to have 3 artillery, so it's just going to be a classic 27th width. And I will be making 10 of these. These guys are going to be uh, probably my most important troops. Okay, I'm going to get this department for home defense. Uh, it just gives us two cost reductions for land doctrine. Okay, so this is what I was talking about for uh, theorists. This guy is really good. I'm also going to move on to limited conscription, more manpower. So we now have <clears throat> 100 divisions. Department of Home Defense is done. And I will now be moving on to eliminate socialist parties. This is going to uh, change the popularity of communism and democracy. And it's going to replace the uh, opposition for left and right down a level. I'm going to start dividing my army up and putting them on the uh, appropriate borders. This is kind of what I'm thinking. I have three armies uh, defending the border with Germany. I have one uh, ready to defend against uh, Slovakia. And then I have another over in East Prussia to uh, very hopefully quickly take it. Okay, we have eliminated those socialist parties. We're now going to do uh, modus vivendi. This is going to give us a few political advisors uh, and it's going to make the left happy and the right angry. Okay, five artillery now going to be making more uh, units, about 20 more. I only really need uh, five armies of 24. That focus is done. And I'm going to support the right wing paramilitarism. 
it's going to make the right happy and the left angry. And it's going to give us a couple of okay political advisors. I'm also going to sideline the right. And I'm going to get this grand battle plan. This is going to give us max planning of 10 plus percent and a daily command power gain of 0%. I'm also going to get this uh, prepared defense. This is going to give us a little bit of defense and some organization for all of our infantry. I'm also going to draft a new constitution. This is going to make the left happy and the right angry. It's going to mod modify that April constitution by giving us some more uh, stability, which is what I like. Okay, we have drafted a new constitution. This is all this Asian. It's going to uh, replace the high left and right opposition with a more moderate stance. It's also going to change that popularity and democracy by negative 20%. Okay, I have some political power to waste. Uh, I'm gonna get this leftist minister. He gives us 10% stability and yeah, that's what I need. I need stability. I really don't wanna deal with strikes during this war. <laughs> strikes are some of the worst things that you can deal with in Hoi 4. Okay, we have to solve the uh, Sejim. Let's do the left chairman. This is going to make the right very angry, but it's actually going to make the left stop existing at all. We will remove the moderate sanitation left opposition entirely. So we'll only have to deal with the right. We have engineer company too. This is going to be great for our entrenchment. I decided to uh, just force deploy my great divisions. I'm going to start getting some uh, Soviet spies as well. Yeah, Hungary's not gonna flip. I'm going to delete these uh, spies and make them German spies. Now that I have five factories on support equipment, uh, anti-air and artillery, I'm going to be putting the rest of my uh, military factories on guns because we need 60,000 of them and we have like less than a year. Okay, German spy number two. I love spies in this game. They are just so good. Okay, shock troopers get into position. I'm going to train my entire army. Uh, if your troops are green, they're going to lose the vast majority of their battles. That's just the way it is. So you really, really want them to at least be trained a little bit. 57, negative 57,000 guns. That's rough. Okay, leftist chairman is done. I still have a little bit of time before this uh, civil war kicks off. So I'm going to do the common organization of society. This is going to add, you guess it, the Common Organization of Society National Spirit. This grants us a little bit of uh, factory output, some democracy support. Uh, it gives us a few uh, building slots throughout our core states, but it gives us a negative 20% political power gain. Debuff. That is worth it. Okay, uh, the Muta Conference has occurred, and Zaolazi is ours. A tiny, tiny, tiny little state gonna get some uh, propaganda and I have my third German spy let's put them on Germany yeah, I'm gonna start making new artillery let's maintain this dictatorship we have 35 days and we'll no longer have to worry about the right opposition I'm going to be buying steel from Sweden I'm done with my political branch. There's really no reason to align with the West. They're going to guarantee me anyways. I'm going to get the uh, Central Defense of Poland. This is going to uh, give us another national spirit, Central Defense of Poland, which is going to be infantry equipment production cost of negative 5% and land for construction of plus 25% for 720 days, which is great because I'm going to be building a couple of forts. I'm also going to be upgrading my division. Uh, these guys are just meant to be holding. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that horrible recon division. And I don't have enough uh, army experience, so I'm going to leave it at that. More military factories. I'm also going to be building some strategic forts. Having played Poland in the past, these are the places where the Germans pushed through and I wasn't able to hold. So using my memory the best I can, I feel pretty confident about that. We don't need too many forts, just enough to uh, dig in. Okay, support anti-air. Nice, engineer company two is done, and I'm gonna get some trucks. 45. Uh, this is, we're gonna be cutting it very close. Okay, central defense of Poland is done. I'm gonna invest in eastern Poland so I can get a bunch of civilian factories and a military factory. The Germans have claimed Memel, they're coming for us. We're going to be doing the central uh, region strategy, new Polish industry, expand the Warsaw, uh, University of Warsaw, and then we're gonna do nationalist education. Nationalist education gives us a little defense on core uh, territory and it gives us an attack bonus on core territory. So it's a good idea to uh, move down to that focus. 
Okay, fate of Czechoslovakia. I think I have 140 days and a deficit of 37,000 guns. I'm also going to uh, start producing these forts instead of military factories because I'm cutting it close. King Zog has submitted. The United Kingdom has guaranteed us. We still have a deficit of 31,000 guns and 1.4K uh, support equipment. I still have a little time. I still have a little time. Let's see if I can do this. Italy has joined Germany, which means that the Molotov rip and trap pact is done. Yeah, there it is. 70 days, boys, 70 days. I have 15 factories on guns. I am missing 30,000 guns. I'm going to improve relations with the Soviets. I'm going to improve relations with Lithuania. I'm going to improve with, uh, relations with Latvia and Estonia. I'm going to improve relations with Hungary, with France, with Romania, with Turkey, Yugoslavia, Ah, an agent has been captured. That's dumb and stupid, but it is what it is. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we have lost that buff to our consumer to goods, so now we are losing 15, uh, 13 factories to, uh, to that. Going to be putting generals onto my units. I love having the defensive doctrine on my uh, on my field marshals because it gives a max entrenchment of plus 30%. I think I'm ready. I feel ready. I have 300 political power saved up. Uh, this is going to be used for, uh, you know, switching on to war economy, of course. I think I'm ready, which makes sense because the Germans are claiming Danzig now. <laughs> Danzig will uh, remain Gdansk. It will. I have slowed my game down. And I am just waiting for Germany to uh, do the inevitable. And war has been started. I'm going to be moving on to war economy. I would rather move on to total uh, mobilization, but I don't have enough uh, stability to do women in the workforce to uh, circumvent that negative three recruitable population. As an online nation, I need 70% to do uh, women in the workforce. It's dumb, but it, it is what it is. War economy is good enough though. I'm gonna be getting this infantry guy and I'm going to be making a bunch of divisions, around a hundred more. And I'm going to be putting them on the lowest equipment priority. This has given us a massive uh, gun deficit and now we're just going to ask all of those countries that we boosted relations with if we can have their guns for free. The Soviets don't even realize this, but their own guns are going to save us from them. Going to be requesting guns from everyone. Okay, the Soviet Union has answered and they're only giving us 500. That is lame. Estonia coming out with almost 3,000 guns. Lithuania and 2,000. The Hungarians are giving us 1.2k. The Turks are giving us 3,000. The Romanians are giving me 3,000. Yugoslavia with 2.3. And we have Latvia with 1.2. That is a lot of guns. I'm going to be using my shock troopers and I'm going to be pushing as hard as I can towards uh, Konigsberg. And I'm going to be uh, last standing as much as I can so that hopefully I can uh, wear out the Germans before they wear me out. We are holding decently. I will be reinforced spamming as much as I can. Uh, I don't want to lose a tile, but in my mind, I've already accepted that I'm going to be losing tiles. Yeah, this isn't looking bad. Uh, I think I can take uh, Konigsberg pretty quickly. Nice, we've taken it. Uh, th thank you for the guns. You know what, I'm going to counterattack uh, this Glewitz, Glewitz, this Glewitz city, and I'm gonna see if I can actually take it. I have lost a couple of tiles, that's fine. The Germans are pushing incredibly hard. Poznan, we need to uh, quickly reinforce here. Just going to be pinning with those troops and rushing as fast as we can. 
and I'm not going to be taking Memel. Uh, if you have seen my video on Hugo Slavia, then you might know what I'm doing. I'm going to be using Memel as a tool of encirclement, and I'll be destroying as many German divisions as I can. Here's the thing. Uh, no matter how many divisions I destroy here in Memel, it doesn't matter. The German army and the German industry will uh, build faster than I can handle. So that's pretty much the idea. I'm also going to be shortening this uh, line and just defending a little bit further. I think I can handle it. Nope, 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 nope. Never mind, never mind. Just, just, just hold Slovakia. That's fine. German pressure towards the Benelux. Hopefully they'll go to war with the uh, Dutch and the Belgians soon so that we can have some of this pressure taken off of us. Also, I was able to end up taking uh, Gleiwitz. Uh, it wasn't hard. I just waited till they bashed into me and lost their org and then I counterattacked. That is pretty much exactly what I'm going to be doing in a lot of this game. Just going to be doing a lot of counterattacks. I have almost completely seized East Prussia. The German army is encircled. I'm going to lose another tile near Ponsman. I'm going to spam out last uh, stand. I'm going to be asking for more guns from all of those countries that are around us. That's like 17-ish thousand guns. That is insane. I'm gonna get this logistics wizard. Supply is always king. And Memel has been cleared. Just gonna let them uh, send more troops there. Hopefully they'll send their armor. I wasn't kidding. I'm, I'm terrified of German tanks. Uh, they are pushing us very, very hard. I need it. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to hold that tile. Reinforce spam for the win. Okay. The Germans are holding on longer than I thought they would. I thought I had East Russia all cleared up, but they're holding. Okay, there we go. Another German division, wipe them out, and I will not be attacking Memo. I'm not going to be taking Memo. I want the Germans to send as many divisions here as they can, because at the end of the day, this is going to help me a little bit. I'm also going to be putting these 24 divisions uh, just right across my border with Germany and attempt to uh, hold more tiles. Once again, Papa Stalin, I am asking you for some guns. No? Okay. Thank you, Germany, for donating three divisions. I do appreciate it. I'm going to become the spy master for the allies. This is going to give us a few more spies. Thank you, Memo. Nationalist education is done, meaning we've been at war for about 70 days. And I'm just going to get more factories. We're holding pretty well. The Germans can't really push us anymore, but maybe I can push them. Ah, uh, they are reinforced spamming me. It's only fair. I did it to them. Wipe out memo once again. Cancel the attack. I'm going to give up my assault. Uh, if I can't take a tile within a few weeks, I'm not going to try. I don't have the manpower or the uh, guns to do that. And all these new spies are going to be Soviet spies. More guns, please. Eh, about eight, nine K guns, not bad. Also another German tank wiped out and another German tank wiped out. This is going to help me more than probably anything else in, that I can do in this entire game. Uh, not having to worry about German armor is beautiful going to be getting a bunch of ambushers. This is going to give us some more entrenchment, which I like. We are essentially using World War One tactics here. We are just dug in. Another Soviet spy. And I'm going to be asking for guns again. 
I'm also going to start uh, improving my relations with Norway and Sweden. Wipe out more divisions. Let's see if I can take this tile. I am pinning the divisions next to them. I don't feel confident. Another German tank division wiped out. Beautiful. They have four medium tank divisions left. Please send them to Mimmel. I would like for you to send them to Mimmel. Ah, <laughs> here he comes. I think that was the last German tank uh, division, actually. And you guessed it, I'm asking for guns again. The Polish beggar is the most dangerous warrior. Wow, 6,000 guns from Sweden. Thank you, Sweden. Gonna be hiring more Soviet spies. And another Soviet, uh, another German tank division destroyed. Also, the Germans are going to war with uh, the Netherlands and Belgium. This is going to make things easier for us. As you can see, the Germans have pulled a lot of divisions away so that they can try to uh, quickly defeat them. Which means that it's time for a Polish counterattack. Just to the north though, because the south for some reason is flooded with German troops. Soviet Union is coming for us. I have 155 days to prepare. Going to be forced deploying all of these 95 divisions that I have, or as many as I can, and putting them on the border with the Soviet Union. I'm going to be putting a uh, small army around Lithuania because they will eventually submit to the Soviets. Continue wiping out these Germans that land in Mimmel. Uh, I wouldn't say we're pushing very hard. Um, I'm just doing micro for all of this. Again, I don't have the manpower to uh, field marshal attack. I don't have the guns to field marshal attack. So I'm being very strategic about where I choose. I want to take the ports. I want to take the victory points. I want to take the factories. I want to encircle as many Germans as I can. Uh, and most importantly, I want to push and get behind this river because if I can push the Germans past this river, they won't be able to push me back. Nice, the Germans are being wiped out. And two medium tanks from the Germans. Force deploying, of course. We're making some decent progress against the Germans, though. I am almost at a position where I feel like I can defend against whatever they throw at me at this point. Uh, and thankfully, I am getting more guns from... As, much, as many countries as I can ask. It's very slow to push, but we are making some pretty good progress. I have almost completely pushed the Germans past the river. Um, my defensive lines are looking really good. I feel very confident uh, about the German border. The Soviet border, <laughs> we'll see. The Germans have lost 1.3 million to us, and we have unfortunately lost 274 to them. Nice, our defensive lines are done. So I'm going to be making a 10 width division, just pure infantry. Uh, these are going to guard my ports because the Soviets will navally invade me. If you've ever fought against the Soviets, you know they do naval invasions. Uh, the British do naval invasions and the Italians do naval invasions. But because the British own Gibraltar and they own the Suez, I don't have to worry about them. I do have to worry about the Soviets though. I'm 
I'm gonna try to do some small pushes. The Romanians will be joining the Axis very, very soon, so I'm going to be adding just a few units onto the border with them, seeing if I can hold. And we're going to be guarding those ports. The Germans are still bashing against us. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I don't know why the Romanians have barely put any troops on my border. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can not, uh, just push them a little bit. Nice, the British have made a naval landing over near Hamburg. I'm going to quickly see if I can uh, attach with them. Also, I think Berlin is open. Since the uh, Russians have claimed Lithuania, I'm going to be taking Memel now. I really don't want to have to deal with the uh, Soviets and the Germans together on the same front. I'm also going to move over these shock troopers, see if I can't uh, do some more damage to the uh, Germans. Also, I was incredibly dumb and I forgot to uh, watch my friend on the, the uh, Romanians, so they were able to push me back and I lost pretty much all my gains. And let's push towards Berlin. A Polish victory is in sight. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to push the Romanians. I was stupid. I was stupid. This is why you need to pay attention to everything that you're doing and not just uh, get zoned in on one front. Gonna keep assaulting Berlin and the tiles around it. I have almost joined with the British. Nice, our friends have joined together. I'm gonna quickly clean up this little encirclement here. Come on, Berlin, come on. <laughs> I'm so close to taking this city. Nice, okay, Berlin has fallen to the Polish armies. And the Soviets are uh, declaring war on me immediately. Didn't even give me a chance to breathe. I'm so glad I have all these divisions ready. Asking for guns is literally what, what saved my, my Soviet front. Uh, Romanians did a stupid thing, so now I'm going to do the same thing that they did to me. And I'm going to encircle these eight divisions. Uh, Romania, I'm better than you. No, 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 I'm gonna pin you. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, okay, we've encircled them. Let's see if we can't uh, clean this up before they uh, push us off our spot. The Soviets are making a massive push in my center. Uh, I can't pierce the Soviet tanks. I have to make a massive uh, retreat here. If I don't retreat, then I'm going to lose like 13 uh, divisions. Uh, I need a hold, I need a hold, okay. <laughs> The German front is looking great. The Germans are bashing into us, uh, so are the Italians. Um, the Soviet front is looking really bad. So I'm going to have to do a lot of strategic retreats and see if I can't find a, uh, a footholding here. Oh, those, those Soviet, that Soviet armor is just destroying me. Come on, fall back, fall back, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm going to be moving over my shock troopers if seeing if I can't patch this hole that's that's forming here. Okay, we've retreated the, all of those forces. Uh, I thought I was gonna get encircled there. Uh, I definitely would have, but retreating was a way to go. 
Um, I am pinning as much of the Soviets as I can. I am just trying to slow their advance. Yeah, I need to I need to move these twenty four uh, units over from the German front. The German front, I've, I'm I'm feeling very confident. They might take a few tiles from me not every now and then, but the Soviets they're just destroying me. Okay, I think we're mostly good. I'm pinning where I can. I am trying to uh, widen my defensive lines where I can. I did get four units encircled. Um, let's see if I can't fix this. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's rough. I'm not gonna be able to push through those. I'm not gonna be able to push. Oh man, okay, that's rough. Okay. Pin where I can. See if I can't make my uh, defensive lines better. I guess in this case, the best defense literally is a good offense because the Soviets have, uh, the Soviet assault has uh, slowed down a lot. They're now throwing troops at me by uh, naval invasions, but I can clean this up. The Romanians are pushing against us. Uh, what is this? A Soviet general and Romanian troops on the battlefield. I think, I think the Soviets have been stopped, but my logistics are looking really bad. So I'm going to have to start producing trains. I didn't want to this early, um, but the Soviets, they decided for me. I'm going to move on to service by requirement. I need more manpower. Perfect timing. Beautiful, beautiful. We're mostly holding, right? We're mostly holding. I'm going to do plan east. Come on. Let's see if I can't clear this, uh, make these lines a little better, more solid. The Polish counterattack has uh, initiated against the Soviets. Okay. We're making some uh, good gains. Going to be doing the same thing against the Germans, seeing if I can't uh, free up some space. I'm gonna get Scavenger now. This is going to uh, give us some guns and uh, enemy army equipment. Yeah, we're mostly holding, we're mostly holding. Going to be boosting relations with all those countries once more. I think it's time for me to start begging again. The French have made a nice little inside uh, Italy. The Soviets are making a naval invasion against us uh, once again. The British have made an encirclement, which is beautiful. Okay, I've made a push against the Germans. going to be doing the local eastern plans. This is going to give us a bunch of decisions to defend against the Soviets. Let's see if I can't take this uh, railway gun. Yeah, so I brought my shock troopers over to the uh, front with Germany, and they are making very quick work of these German troops. Uh, my goal is to completely avoid the Sudetenland and all those forts and just go around and take Vienna. It's going to be the long way around, but that's the goal. 
The Soviets have lost 1.1 million uh, troops to me. I have lost 374,000 to the Soviets. The Germans have lost 2.3 to me. Yeah, our shock troopers are making very quick work of these divisions. Just taking all their victory points. If I can capitulate the Germans, capitulate the uh, rest of the Axis, then I can move over close to a million troops onto the Soviet border. This is going to turn the tide of the uh, war on that side. I'm gonna be taking Leipzig. Germans are almost halfway done. We are losing a lot of manpower, but securing uh, Poland's future is it's worth it. The Soviets have made a naval invasion in an area that I didn't even think to guard. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. I'm going to be quickly falling back some troops, seeing if I can't contain this. Uh, that is a mess. Okay, we can take Frankfurt. We can take uh, Nuremberg. More military factories. I'm going to see if I can't rush down to uh, Switzerland and cut the German army in half. Also going to start building some railways just so I can get some supply in this uh, massive, massive uh, push. Moving my shock troopers down once again. We're pushing pretty hard, but the German troops just can't survive against us. Our troops are so much better than theirs. Let's take Munich and more railways. Okay, nice. We have uh, pushed all the way down to Switzerland and cut the German army in half. They don't have any ports over here. They don't have any railways. Uh, all that they can do is die. Another Soviet naval invasion. Good lord. Ugh, uh, keep marching my shock troopers down. We are almost at Vienna. Once we are, the Germans should surrender. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me have it. Nice. Okay, Germans have capitulated. I didn't even need to take Vienna. I'm going to be letting the... All of my allies worry about that uh, cottage cheese, and I'm just going to, as quickly and hard as I can, push down on the Italians. I don't want to fight in the Alps, so I have to take whatever advantage I can. I'm also going to move over a uh, army, just so I can clean up the Soviets up here. We are pushing pretty hard. Uh, I like to push in the south of this area, just because fighting in the mountains makes me want to cry. A lot of progress. Uh, we have met up with the French. Mussolini is gone. The Italian Civil War is just around the corner, and I wonder if it's going to be uh, a French puppet or my puppet. I think that my puppet... I'm going to be honest, I don't understand this. Uh, I genuinely thought it was going to be a French puppet, but it's my puppet. And I'm very thankful for that, um, but very unexpected. I, I could have sworn it was going to be a French puppet. Keep pushing. Let's clean up these Italians. And then we also have to clean up uh, Bulgaria. So I'm going to move my shock troopers over and do just that. Keep pushing. We are rushing these uh, Italians down as fast as we can. And I'm going to march straight towards Sofia and then uh, go to the east. Warsaw has, fa Warsaw has fallen. What the fuck? Uh, uh, sometimes this game just... Wow. Or maybe that was my fault. I don't know.
I'm having issues pushing over this. They keep reinforced spamming. Look, I do the same thing. It's only fair. It's annoying, but it's only fair. Okay. We have finally almost cleaned up the Soviets. The Italians have surrendered, and now we just need Bulgaria, which is not going to take them long. Wow, we have lost a lot of manpower to these uh, Germans and Soviets. Almost a million to the Soviets. I actually find it funny that I'm doing so much better against the Germans than the Soviets. Uh, it makes sense. I pretty much spent three years preparing against the uh, Germans and less than a year preparing against the Soviets while fighting the Germans. Nice. So the Germans have capitulated. Uh, I took what I could because I was part of the Allies. I couldn't puppet anything. Uh, I gave what I could to Polish Italy. Going to be deleting all of these uh, German spies. And I'm going to make them Soviet spies once I can. Going to request garrison support from the British Raj and Dutch East Indies. Because I, I need a lot of garrisons. 1.1 million. Wow. That is exactly how much I wanted I guess so the allies kicked me out of their faction uh, or the British kicked me out of their faction I'm not entirely sure well I know it's because I generated a bunch of war world tension because I annexed pretty much everything that I could but it's still very very annoying gonna be cleaning up this north of uh, Germany with these Soviet divisions Now I only have three spies, because uh, I'm not the spy master for anyone. And we are now at all adult serve. Let's do between the seas concept. This is going to allow us to build a, a faction. If I'm not invited to the club, I'll just build my own. <laughs> Nice, we've cleaned up the Soviets from that area. I'm gonna do a massive, massive push once it's no longer winter because winter brings snow and snow brings uh, division attack debuffs. Soviets made a naval invasion in Romania so I'm going to do what I can to clean this up real quick. Yeah, the no organization is very, very painful. But thankfully, the Soviets are the ones experiencing it and not me. I'm gonna get this air reformer. I'm gonna be using my shock troopers. I'm gonna be doing some very small pushes. I'm gonna see if I can't make an encirclement here. I am just mowing through them so quickly. Come on, I would like to make this encirclement, please. Okay, encirclement has been made and let's clean it up. This is literally all I'm going to be doing during the winter. I can't make any big pushes, uh, division attack debuffs and all that from the snow. So I'm just going to be cleaning up as many Soviet armies as I can. Uh, just very slowly, encircling, encircling, encircling. I'm also going to release all of these uh, puppets that I don't find necessary, such as North Africa. Uh, I'm going to be releasing Romania as well and Czechoslovakia. It's just, I need the manpower. going to be building some trucks so I can get some uh, better supply once I start pushing deeply into Russia. Uh, this is going to be my fighter unit. It's pretty good. We won't be able to build too many of them, but that's fine. Also, I'm going to move on to superior firepower because very soon I'm just going to be pushing. And this is the best for uh, that.
going to be putting a collaboration government on the Soviets, and I'm going to be boosting that cipher. Okay, full assault against the Soviet Union. I'm also going to be doing these defensive plans. Uh, they're pretty good. For 60 days, they give division attack of 10 plus percent, division defense of 20 plus percent, and breakthrough of 15 percent. Yeah, th that's why I saved up my political power, and now I'm going to be using that political power, and I'm going to push against the Soviets as hard as I can. Nice little encirclement here. Eh, it's not too many divisions, but this is going to make the uh, war in the north fairly easy. Going to be launching my air force. Honestly, it's not much, uh, but it'll do. Going to be making a cast. I'm a pretty big fan of this design. I think that it uh, punches pretty hard. It's very expensive, but I have no manpower, so. Okay, let's take Leningrad. Looks like they have a uh, division there, so I'm just going to encircle it. Leningrad has fallen to the Polish forces, and soon so will Stalingrad and Moscow. I'm just having bad luck while pushing, so I'm going to let my forces reorg, uh, rebalance, get into position, and then I will be full on assaulting the Soviet Union once again. Actually, after this counter, after this attack would be a great idea. I'm a big fan of counterattacking. As you can see, lots of green bubbles. Also going to be making a new office, a new uh, chief of army from one of my generals, and he's going to be a uh, division assault. We're almost done already with the superior firepower doctrine. Let's see if I can't take Sevastopol. Ah, uh, Soviet tank division. This is going to uh, slow us down. Again, I can't pierce them. Uh, no, 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 no. Retreat, retreat, retreat. I might have messed up. I might have messed up. Oh no. Oh no. Soviets are doing a major counterattack against us. Uh, but we are successfully holding, mostly. So now I'm going to counterattack against their counterattack. Let's see how far I can to push to uh, Moscow before uh, winter sets in. I am right outside Moscow. I have stopped moving. Uh, the Soviets are currently bashing into me, and I'm just going to wait till the uh, winter is over. I'm going to align with the West. I really need manpower, so hopefully they'll, uh, the Allies will let me rejoin so that Indonesia can give me manpower. Yeah, I don't think this is going to happen. The United Kingdom has invited us back to the Allies. Will you kick me out, United Kingdom? Are you going to kick me out again? Uh, India won't give me garrison support again, but... Nice, Malaysia will. Thank you. Going to be pushing against Moscow once again. Uh... I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, take the city, but I can sure try. I took the city. Moscow is mine, uh, which means that I have the supply depot there. So now my troops won't be uh, heavily lacking in supplies. Going to be pushing out a little bit, seeing if I can't uh, get some breathing room for Moscow. Now that that Soviet tank has run away, I'm going to be pushing towards uh, 
Sevastopol once again. And hopefully this time I can actually take that city. I'm gonna quickly take that airport uh, just because I don't want the Soviets to be having air supremacy here. Okay, we have encircled the Soviet divisions. Going to be force attacking just because my org is very low and I don't want these troops to run away from this port. Uh, I did put all of my puppets troops all throughout my divisions, even though this uh, brought me over the limit, I really just need as many forces on the ground as I can. I have almost taken the city. Nice, okay, we have done it. March these boys down just to hold. I'm gonna keep one more division there in case the Soviets decide to navally invade me. The Soviets are almost capitulated and the UK has kicked me out again. And I will lose all of this beautiful, beautiful manpower that I had before, all because of the UK. Just so annoying. The Soviets, I think, smell weakness now, so they are fully pushing against me. Yeah, so I guess I'm on my own. The uh, allies really don't want me in again this time. Uh, Tokyo, whoa. Already? Japan just did not survive this game. Uh, I'm now going to be making my major assault. Hopefully I can win this war before the uh, winter sets in again. I am right outside Stalingrad. I have brought my shock troopers over. We are having massive, massive supply issues. Um, but if I can take Stalingrad, that'll give us a supply depot and that'll help out in this region by a lot. Having issues taking Stalingrad, it seems. Okay, there we go. We've taken it. The Soviets are so close to capitulation, we just need like one or two more of their cities. Oh, I, I guess not. They have capitulated. Uh, okay. So this is what we're looking at. Uh, both the Soviet Union and Germany decided to test uh, Polish steel and what they have found is that the average Polish soldier is about, I don't know, is much better than them. Uh, I have survived as Poland against both the Soviet Union and Germany. I have beaten both the Soviet Union and Germany. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.